how to start your online business is what we are talking about today hey lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel it's alexis here with another video <laughs> If you are new here, you are welcome. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and family, watch all my previous videos. You can also suggest videos that you would like to see on my channel. Otherwise, this channel is mainly about beauty, lifestyle, business, everything alexis basically so it's a little bit of my life and i really enjoy sharing it with you guys so far this video as you can see by the title is mainly about business this has been a highly requested video by so many people some are my friends some follow me on instagram mainly tiktok and snapchat i hear you and today i'm gonna share what helped me the procedure that i used when i was starting my business if you don't know i run a beauty brand evel beauty first of all know what you want to do know what business you want to venture in be it a product be it a service first find out what you really want to do i would really advise that you find something that you have passion for something you are so passionate about it's going to be easy for you to make research it's going to be easy for you to endure all the challenges endure all the losses and everything that comes with business so find something that you are really passionate about and see if you can make it a business or so for me growing up i was really passionate about beauty products uh, so passionate about everything beauty i remember i wanted to have a skincare line but i was scared as like what if i do all these things and they burn people's skins what if i come up with things that are complicated i made my research and i realized no let me focus on makeup it was something i was passionate about people that know me know that i used to do makeup before as a professional makeup artist for a while i think i started doing makeup in campus first year and i thought i would be like a very big makeup artist in uganda but i realized i couldn't juggle being a makeup artist and also have a makeup line after you found out what do i really want okay i want to have a lip gloss line make research make research it's very very important to get to know what you really want to do what is required because for some people they would prefer to have people formulate for them these things let's say you have someone in china mixing all these glosses for you but what if you want you can actually mix these things yourself these things are out there they are everywhere personally i learned how to mix lip gloss off youtube make research practice like if possible go and have these lessons there are people out there that are teaching all these things go and learn it's okay to start small than bumping into something and you know after you've made research about this product and you are ready make sure you find something really unique before you start first find something really unique about whatever you want to do i'll give an example when i was starting evil beauty at that time everyone was really starting a lip gloss business i won't lie so i thought to myself what's that unique thing that i can add to my brand that is not out there there is kylie there's fenty i'm using this because i don't want to mention people's brands out here in uganda but i'm just giving examples so if someone is looking for a lip gloss and let's say they want to buy let's say victoria secrets let's say they want to buy fenty or they want to buy kylie why would they choose to buy from evel beauty and not these other brands because maybe there's something unique so i thought to myself what can i bring to the brand that is not already there so after we figured out the kind of product we want to deal in or the service find out how much you need to start trust me money is very important like you cannot just start without money don't let anyone lie to you yes you need prayer because prayer from prayer god will help you still find money 
so you need money to start find out how much you need because some businesses don't actually require so much money let's say you want to start a lip gloss business you don't need so much money to start 100k 200k 300k can start a lip care business 1 million can start a lip care business after we have money we need to get a business name i think business name can even come before the money but you need a business name you need a name that is not everywhere come up with a very beautiful name that is going to sell your product or your service before you actually do anything i know people that have bought evel beauty because they love the name you need a unique name you need a name that when you time to register your company or whatever you are starting your name won't be already in existence i remember when i was registering mine um there was i think evel salon and it was really hard for me to convince these people that it's not evil salon it's evil beauty thank god i was able to secure the name make sure to register your business it's very important because you're going to come up with this name let's say you've come up with let's say evil beauty and you sit on your name for over years and then time comes you are ready to register people know the brand but then you cannot register your business as that brand you have to change it and it's going to affect your business so register your business make sure to go and find out if possible you can dm me i have someone that can help you i can share a contact next you have to find a vendor i'm talking to people that want to start businesses that involve products let's say it's a lash business a lip gloss business say it's a wig business actually if you want to sell if you want your business to prosper look at things that are going to take you internationally if you want to start let's say a wig business there are so many vendors on alibaba if you want to start a lip gloss business look for a vendor that is going to supply to you all these things the tubes the vaso gel everything that you need so after getting a vendor you want to look at branding branding is very important guys as important as the whole idea of the business branding is going to sell your product branding is going to sell your business branding is going to sell you make sure to get the best people to help you brand if you can you can get someone to help you design a very beautiful logo that is going to attract the people that are going to buy okay, for me i'll be honest i didn't have the money to pay someone to come up with a logo for me i just went to instagram i will not even say that i knew canva at that time i didn't know canva i just went to instagram came up with something that was really really basic for me i found it basic and i was ready to save money to pay someone to like come up with a logo and all of that but surprisingly people loved my logo even the person i wanted to pay told me no alexis your logo is so beautiful keep it at that so you can also inquire from different people make friends with people that know these things and they will help you make sure before you decide to launch you have tested it on yourself you have tested it on people around you personally i tested on my mother because i remember when i was starting lip care my mom had very very dark lips she had no eyebrows i've seen my mom's transformation with my products and i was like okay it's time even me personally before i put anything out there to be sold i test it on myself for at least a couple of uh, weeks before i launch it to sell after you have done all these things uh you have started mixing your products you figured out what formulation you're going to be using or you figured out how let's say it's a bonnet business or it's a uh, different businesses whatever you have decided to put out there and it's ready find a marketing strategy it's very very important everything is okay you have the money to find the products you have the money to get people to help you but do you have a marketing strategy if you do not have a marketing strategy you are wasting your time sweetheart 
because who is going to buy these products you need to have a marketing strategy marketing involves so many things and if you want me to do a video about it let me know guys marketing involves so many things it could be paying promotions on instagram maybe you want to hire influencers to help you um, advertise on their pages maybe you want to do a billboard maybe you want to go all the way to radio and tv and figure out a marketing strategy that you want to use without being aggressive being too much because there is also overdoing it and still you will not be able to get the clientele that you want after you have figured out a marketing strategy it's time to launch find a an amazing launch strategy launching is also a way of marketing so figure out an amazing launch strategy and you know the way you launch make sure you already have let's say your instagram your tiktok and maybe a website and you've been announcing for a couple of weeks it could be a month and you've been telling people that i'm launching this and this let's say you're launching a skincare line or let's say a hair care line so you've been telling people on your socials every day about it and you know find a launch strategy whereby people have been following up on your journey of starting this business let's say you've been telling them on your socials um we are launching our first lip lip care products on the first of july people are going to be looking forward to that date so make sure you have amazing pictures, amazing videos that you're going to share. And let's say you've been working on your website or you've been working on all these pages. And that's the day you're going to put everything out there for everyone to see. Figure out a launch strategy. And like I said earlier, make research about all these things. It's going to be easy for you. All I can say, um, do not put yourself on pressure take your time there is a reason for everything if you've waited this far to start that business there is a reason so take your time make research make sure to ask around like make your research even the people that are going to let's say there are people out there that are doing the same business as you you may not want to do exactly what they are doing so please note it's okay to make losses at the beginning it is okay it's not the end of the world when you make these losses honestly it's not the end of the world it's okay but do not be afraid to try failure is part of life it's okay to fail because if you do not try how will you know that it was gonna work out for you but do not give up guys do not give up on your passion whatever you decide to start on whatever you decide to venture in do not give up that's why at the beginning I emphasize focus on the things that you are passionate about because there are going to be bad days. There will be bad days. You can go a week without making a penny. It is okay. Trust me, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. A year has 365 days for a reason. Trust me, not all those days will be bad. So the other thing, if you feel like things are not working out, you try over and over and over again and it's not working out it's okay to say i'm done with this let me try something else the problem comes in if you decide to give up completely there are so many other things that you can try keep trying also entrepreneurship is not for everyone so if you feel like starting a business is not your thing and maybe working for other people and helping them out in their journey and you know is your thing it's okay that could be your way out that could be the thing that is going to open doors for you and that's it it's a wrap guys thank you so much for everyone that has watched this far thank you so much if you've loved this video let me know in the comments like this video subscribe to my channel bye